Hi everyone, welcome back to the question answer discussion session. So today we are going to discuss five important questions from the Andy Convulsion chapter. So the first question is, patients with both primary generalized tonic-clonic and absent seizure is best managed by A choice ethosuximide, B choice carbamazepine, C choice valproic acid and D choice phenytoin. Now you know that we have already discussed in our previous video, we have told that in the case of absent seizures, in the case of absent seizure, the drug of choice, the drug of choice is ethosuximide. However, in the case of generalized tonic clonic seizure generalized tonic clonic seizure the drug of choice is valproic acid now ethosuximide have only one use that is it is used only in absent seizures and in fact it is a drug of choice however if absent seizure if absent seizure is accompanied by, with the generalized tonic clonic seizure generalized tonic clonic seizure you cannot use ethosuximide and in fact the drug of choice is valproic acid itself so if the question is just absent seizure only then the correct choice is ethosuximide the drug of choice is ethosuximide if absent seizure is accompanied by other seizures like generalized tonic clonic seizure then the correct answer is valproic acid so the correct answer to this question is c choice valproic acid now let's come to the second question of the day so the question is which of the following anti-epileptic drug is like is likely to cause hyponatremia as a side effect, especially in elderly patients? A choice phenobarbital, B choice carbamazepine, C choice valproic acid, and D choice phenytoin sodium. So one of the important points you need to remember here is uh, carbamazepine, carbamazepine abbreviated as CBZ. It has an additional action which is it has the property to increase the antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin ADH. It has the property to increase ADH level. Now, what is the function of ADH? The ADH function is to the retention of water, water retention, retention of water. It will retain water actually. So when ADH level is increased or carbamazepine can increase the ADH level, the water retention also will increase. Now, if the water retention is increasing, this will result, this can result in dilution of ions. It will dilute the ions in our body. Now, important ion or one of the important ion in our body is sodium ion. So, this can uh, result in the dilution of uh, sodium ion and uh, the concentration of sodium in the blood will come down and this is called as hyponatremia. Now, since this uh, uh, hyponatremia has occurred due to the dilution, this is also called as dilutional hyponatremia. So, since uh, carbamazepine increases the ADH level, the final result is that it can cause dilutional hyponatremia. Now, this is very common in elderly patients, so it is contraindicated. So, in fact, carbamazepine is contraindicated in elderly people. Why? Because in elderly people, there will be already water retention. So if you give carbamazepine, it will further in increase the ADH level and this will further aggravate this um, dilutional property and can result in dilutional hyponatremia. So the correct answer for this question is B choice carbamazepine. This will cause hyponatremia. Now coming to the third question of the day, which of the following anti-epileptic drug is used as analgesic? So we all know carbamazepine, abbreviated as CBS, has the property to decrease the pain. That means it is used as an analgesic, it can be used as an analgesic, mainly it is a drug of choice for, it is a drug of choice for trigeminal neuralgia, trigeminal neuralgia. So carbamazepine in fact that is the drug of choice for trigeminal neuralgia. So the answer would be either A choice or B choice. Carbamazepine is the drug of choice for trigeminal neuralgia. Now if carbamazepine cannot be given, phenytoin can be used as an alternative drug. Phenytoin can be used an, as an alternative drug in trigeminal neuralgia. 
in trigeminal neuralgia it is an alternative drug for carbamazepine in trigeminal neuralgia that means phenytoin can also have, is also an analgesic it can also decrease the pain so it is also an analgesic so the correct answer for this question would be carbamazepine and phenytoin which is b choice now coming to the fourth question which of the following anti epileptic drug is not an enzyme inducer not an enzyme inducer a choice phenobarbital b choice carbamazepine c choice valproic acid d choice phenytoin sodium so you, we, we have already discussed that anti epileptic drugs are mainly metabolized by microsomal enzymes in the liver which is mainly the cytochrome p450 family of enzymes now out of this thing this phenobarbital is a potent enzyme inducer it is a potent enzyme inducer similarly carbamazepine is also a potent enzyme inducer similarly phenytoin sodium is also a potent enzyme inducer however this valproic acid is not an inducer it is a potent microsomal enzyme inhibitor so valproic acid is an inhibitor whereas all other these anti, anti epileptic drugs are enzyme inducer so the question was which of the following anti epileptic is not an enzyme inducer the correct answer would be c choice valproic acid now coming to the final question which of the following anti epileptic drug produce weight loss when given for longer duration now the important point you need to remember uh, topiramate apart from having this anti epileptic drug it is approved for the treatment of it is approved for the treatment of obesity it is approved for the treatment of obesity because it has the property to decrease the weight it will cause weight loss it will cause weight loss so the, this is this could be considered as a side effect it can decrease the weight how this has led to the approval approval of this particular drug for in the treatment of obesity so the anti epileptic drug which produce weight loss the correct answer is uh, d choice topiramate thank you